Yeah, welcome back friends. It's another very interesting time. We are going to continue with our topic of genetics and uh, in the previous session we discussed it regarding the concept of genetics. In today's session we are going to start our discussion on the common terminologies used in genetics. As I told you, Kwamba, some of you, you don't have a prior knowledge of genetics. So now you are studying advanced level genetics but you didn't study it. Uh, all level genetics and you don't have a lot of knowledge regarding genetics so we'll start discussing the common terminologies which are commonly used in uh, genetics and then later we'll go deep into other parts of uh, uh, genetics so our first terminology is heredity as we defined yesterday that it is the transmission of characteristics or trait from one generation to another ni kile kitendo cha kuhamisha tabia kutoka kizazi kimoja hadi kingine that means from a parent to offspring and then from the offspring to a grand offspring unaona and there are different categories of traits traits ni tabia sasa unaona for example they include skin color unaona skin color height hair demarcation etc hair demarcation is either hair ziko smooth au ziko zimevirigana yani kuna sikia nasikia kuna mtu ananywele laini ananywele ngumu ananywele kipilipili that is hair demarcation number two is gene what is gene gene is the basic unit of inheritance for given characteristics passed on to the offspring gene ndio kitu kinachobeba inheritance it is the basic unit of inheritance for given characteristics so every characteristics it has its own gene eh? kuna gene ya urefu kuna jini ya rangi kuna jini ya nini every characteristics has its own gene but sometimes when you are talking about gene some of you you get confused kwamba what is that uh, they are talking about gene what is gene actually a gene is the piece of dna or the portion or the region of dna so as we discussed in cytology that a gene is the a gene a gene is the region of dna that controls hereditary characteristics a dna is the very long double helical structure as we shall study later regarding the structure of dna but generally a gene is the piece of dna or region of dna so dna is very long but a piece of it tend to carry certain characteristics let's say height tend to carry certain characteristics that piece of dna which control a certain characteristics it is known as a gene so gene is the piece of dna or the portion or region of dna so it's usually correspond to a sequence used in the production of specific protein or dna so a gene carries biological information in a form that must be copied and it is transmitted from each cell to its progen progen it's like offspring so actually a gene carries hereditary information from uh, from parents to the offspring now from there we can move to the third term which is an allele we can discuss what is an allele uh, an allele allele is an alternative form of gene which occurs at the same locus on the homologous chromosome sometimes na rudia is terminology kwa sababu even myself nipo kwa all level i didn't understood about this terminology unaona na ndio maana zirudia ili kwamba tutakavyofika huko mbele tutakavyokuwa nazungumzia alele usishangae kwamba what is an alele actually nipo kwa all level tulifundisha this terminology lakini actually sikuwa na uwezo kujua kwamba wanaposema alele what does that mean and actually nilikuwa naona ni kama vile wanani confuse so I didn't understand them at all. Now let me explain to you well what is what is an allele. We are defining an allele in two uh, different ways. The first way is that it is an alternative alternative form of gene then which occur at the same locus on homologous chromosome. So this definition does not describe or does not explain more regarding an allele. Let's move to the second definition of an allele. However, both definition they are true. Unaona? The first definition is true and also the second definition which I am going to explain it is also true. 
lakini the second definition it is uh, very descriptive and can help you to explain easy as compared to the first definition what the second definition say about an alele an alele is an alternative form of gene you see alternative form of gene in back three which controls the same trait but can produce different effect it controls the same trait but it can produce different effect so two alleles of the same gene remember these are the alternative forms of gene and they are controlling the same trait but they can produce different effect yani easy allele kuna mmoja akiwepo anasababisha effect fulani itoke na kuna mmoja akiwepo anasababisha effect nyingine itoke now let's move to the actual example hapo unaona example tunayo hiyo iti unaona team kubwa na hiyo team dogo hizi mbili zote ni alele tutaenda ku discuss hapo mbele kidogo kuhusu dominant pamoja na recessive dominant nini na recessive nini unaona hizi mbili zote ni alele huyu team kubwa ni alele na huyu team dogo ni alele lakini huyu team kubwa tunamuita dominant ambao dominant nimekwambia tutasoma hapo mbele kidogo ni terminology nayo dominant manake ni yule jini anayeweza kumfanya mwingine asionekane huyo ndo anaitwa dominant kwa akiwepo tiwi mkubwa na timu mdogo atakayeonekana ni huyu timu kubwa kama huyu timu kubwa anasimama for tall kama huyu timu kubwa anasimama for tall na huyu timu mdogo anasimama for short wakiwepo wawili hivi huyu kiumbe atakuwa anaonekana kama nani kama tall why kwa sababu huyu ni dominant ye atakuwa ndio ana anafanya yule jini mwingine asionekane unaona kwa huyu timu kubwa na timu dogo akiwepo huyu timu kubwa ataitawala ile timu ndogo kwa short haitaonekana kiumbe ataonekana kama ni tall hiyo ndio inaitwa dominant sasa timu kubwa na timu dogo tunaoita kama alele timu kubwa ni alele na timu mdogo ni nani ni alele so timu kubwa au timu dogo they are alleles of haiti gene hizi zote zina control characteristics moja ambayo ni ni haiti and they all controlling hate characteristics in a certain group of organisms and let's say we are taking this group of organism as pea plant eh tunazungumzia njegele kwa lugha ya kikwetu kule eh maneno songea tunaziita nzungwa njegele unaona hasa chukulia tuna control characteristics ya hate katika katika hizi njegele njegele ndio zinaitwa pea plants au garden peas unaona but remember among these two letters the capital t we produce tall plants unaona capital t we produce tall plants while small t we produce short plants you see so capital t and small t they are alternative form of a gene which control the same trait which is height but can produce different effect which are tall plant or short plant unaona kwamba capital T na small t hizi zote ni alternative form ya jini moja jini ya hate unaona zina control trait moja ya hate lakini zina control the same trait lakini zinaweza ka produce different effect unaona zina control the same trait but they can produce different effect kama tuliona hapa team kubwa na team dogo they both control hate characteristics in a certain group of plant and in our case we said that we are letting that it control hate characteristics in pea plant unaona na tumesema the capital t will produce tall plant while small t will produce short plant so they both control the same characteristics which is hate but the results or the effect due to these two alleles they are different or the effect due to these two alternative forms of gene unaona bwana thus they are controlling the same characteristics but they can produce different effect these are the alleles alleles they are alternative form of gene which control the same characteristics but they can produce but can produce different effect it's not necessarily kila mtu as produce different effect yana tukiweka t hivi na tukaweka t mwingine hivi huyu t ni alele na huyu hapa nena ni alele hasa unaweza kusema kwamba hasa t huyu hapa na t huyu hapa si wata produce effect ile ile yes wata produce effect moja ndio maana kwa definition tumesema in the alternative form of gene 
which control the same trait but can produce can manake ni able it's able to produce different effect but it is not necessarily hatujaambiwa but should or must should or must that means it is necessarily unaona it's necessarily uh, it's it must occur in such way lazima itokee hivyo ndio should or must lakini tukisema can that means it is able so sometimes it can produce the same effect and sometimes it can produce different effect depending on the situations of these alleles so i hope for this example for this example you have understood well regarding the allele simply an allele is one of the two or more versions of a gene so gene inaweza ikawa ina version mbili au zaidi unaona yani gene gene moja inaweza ikawa na version mbili au zaidi hasa zile version zile ndio tunaziita allele version mbalimbali mbali za gene labda mmoja ni dominant yote ita dominant allele mmoja ni recessive tamuita recessive allele unaona kwa ni, ni kama kuna dominant version pamoja na recessive version so an individual inherits two alleles for each gene an individual inherits two alleles for each gene one from each parent if two alleles are the same the individual is homozygous for that gene if the alleles are different the individual is heterozygous for that gene so for example in this case this is capital T and this is capital T the two gene they are i mean the two alleles of the tall i mean the height gene kwa sababu gene inakuwa defined sawa na characteristics inayo control hapa kwa mfano hii t na t zote zina control characteristics moja ambayo ni height kwa hizi t zote zinakuwa regarded as genes they are gene genes unaona kwa hiyo for, for this case for example this is homozygous organism homo means same homozygous organism and this is heterozygous organism eh, an individual is heterozygous hetero means different so this is homozygous that means the allele is the same and heterozygous means the allele is the uh, different now i hope you have understood well regarding the definition of um, an allele and non we can move to the uh, definition of um, a locus what is a locus hata kwa definition ya allele uliona tumesema is an alternative form of gene which occur at the same locus on your monogenous chromosome now what is a locus might be some of you you never heard about the terminology locus what is locus locus is the position of an allele within a dna molecule is the position of an allele within a dna molecule or is the position occupied by a gene on a chromosome ni ile sehemu ambayo alele fulani amekaa au gene fulani amekaa actually easy terminology is the alele na gene sometimes they can be used interchangeably but not every situation we are using them interchangeably i have told you sometimes we are using them interchangeably but not in every situation so the terminologies of uh, uh, homos i mean the terminologies of gene and the allele they, they are sometimes used interchangeably but not every time unaona kwa kitu ninachoweza kusema ni kwamba locus ni ile sehemu ambayo alele amekaa katika DNA au ni ile position ambayo gene amekaa katika chromosome ndio inaitwa locus from there homozygous i mean homologous homologous in nini homologous is the diploid state diploid die means two diploid condition yani chromosomes zinakuwa mbili is the diploid condition in which the alleles at a given locus they are identical for example is your homologous actually ini homo zygous ndabani kwa na nani ni kwa na changanya this is the homo zygous itakiwa hivi sio homologous this is homo zygous unaona so homo zygous ni ile condition ambayo gene zinakuwa zinafanana kwa mfano ikiwa capital a vile capital t capital r small a small t small r these are known as homo zygous kwa mfano wataitwa homo zygous dominant these are homozygous recessive hasa kwa sababu hujui dominant and recessive hiyo to discuss later heterozygous is the diploid condition diploid condition in which the alleles at a given locus are different 
alleles that are given locus are different. For example, capital A, small a, this is heterozygous. Capital T, small t, this is heterozygous. Capital R, small r, heterozygous. Unaona tunaita heterozygous. So heterozygous is using a tofautiana. From there, phenotype. Phenotype is the observable characteristics of an individual. In short, you can stop here your definition of phenotype. But you continue with the, you can continue with the explanation if you are able. Kwa sababu watu wengine vichwa vetu umetofautiana, wengine vichwa vyao vina uwezo mzuri wa kufikiri na kuremember wakati wengine hawana. So phenotype actually is the observable characteristics of an organism resulting from the interaction between the genotype and the environment in which development is taking place. Phenotype ni muonekano wa nje wa kiumbe ambao unatokana na a gene ya yule kiumbe yani genetic makeup of an organism which is genotype na mazingira ambayo organism anakulia. Kwa nini tumezungumzia environment? Let's say uh, kwa kawaida inajulikana for most of the regions of Tanzania mtu akitoa mikoa kama ya Moshi ambayo inabadili kali au mikoa kama ya Njombe au Iringa anakuwa ni mtu ambaye anaonekana kama mweusi. Akija mikoa kama Dar es Salaam ambayo ina joto anaonekana kama anatakata na kwa mweupe. Now you see the phenotype of this organism yani the external appearance or the observable characteristics of this individual have been contributed by two things. First is the genotype of an organism ambayo genotype ndio ilimfanya aonekane ni black in nature. But the second is the environment in which this living this living organism is living. You see? The environment in which this living organism is living uh, tend to uh, tend to change the appearance, the observable appearance of this living organism. Tukitoa kwenye example hiyo, tukaenda kwenye example za plants ambayo plant anaweza kawa yuko tall, unaona, lakini yu plant asiwekewe mbolea ya kutosha. Asipowekea mbolea ya kutosha manake Phenotype, the genotype of, of an organism is tall, but there are no sufficient environments. There is no sufficient fertilizer for the plant to grow well. Unaona? Now the phenotype of an organism will never change. Now organism will kanza kuonekana katika sula nyingine, lakini kumbe hakuwa na sula kama hiyo. Unaona? That is phenotype. Phenotype is contributed by two things. The genotype of an organism and the environment in which development is taking place. From there we can move to the terminology genotype. Genotype is the condition of an organism with respect to the alleles under consideration. Ni ile hali ya kiumbe kulingana na alleles zake zilizomtengeneza ndani. Or by other words or in other words we can say it is uh, in the genetic makeup of an organism. Genetic makeup of an organism. Kwamba huyo organism inside ametengenezwa na nini? Uh, the genetic makeup of an organism it is a genotype for example this one this one this one all of these they are uh, genotypes of an organism uh, phenotype is the external appearance genotype is the uh, how an organism it is made up inside unaona from there we have another terminology which is genome what is a genome a genome refer to all gene refer to all gene all gene or alleles that an organism possess kwa mfano human being anaweza kawa labda na e, chromosome 46 na katika hizo chromosome 46 kuna kwa kuna different e, gene ambazo zinakuwa carried in these eh, all of these chromosomes unaona kwa hiyo hizo ndizo ambazo tunazita kama nani ni genome total of all uh, genes in an organism we call them as genome now we can move on now we let's discuss regarding this diagram here this diagram tries to show us uh, some few things Um, you can see this uh, linear strand. This is an example of chromosome. Actually, this is not a chromosome, but it is just the diagrammatic representation so that we can explain some few things. And now, this is the chromosome, and this is another chromosome. So, we have chromosome number one here, and then chromosome number two. Always the chromosomes, they appear in pairs, and we call them uh, the diploid, uh, diploid state, as I will share, discuss later. So, chromosome or they appear in pairs as you can see a chromosome number 1 and a chromosome number 2 and there are different locations in this chromosome where the gene they have been located and as we said that um, the location of gene in a chromosome we call them as a loci loci gene loci 
Loci are different position where the gene they are located in the chromosome. So all of these they regarded the a gene loci. And you can see this is capital P and this is capital P. The capital letter means it is dominant. A gene is how we shall discuss later what is dominant and what is recessive. So you can see this is uh, uh, this is capital P and this is capital P really indicating this is the dominant gene. And then we have a recessive gene here, a small n, a small l, the recessive gene. Here is the dominant gene B, and here the recessive gene. Actually, the best way to use is the recessive allele because, as we said, the capital B and the small b, they are different forms of, or the alternative forms of gene which control the same characteristics, but they can produce different effects. So B is an allele, and the small b is also an allele for the same characteristics, but they can produce different effects. That's why it's known as the alleles. So this is the diagram showing the structure of chromosome and the location of dominant and the recessive alleles, which we call them at the gene. Uh, loci, the gene loci. From there, we can discuss about the terminology dominant. I have mentioned it several times regarding dominant and recessive, but most you don't know uh, what is a dominant mean and what is recessive mean. Dominant is the allele which influences the appearance of the phenotype, even in the presence of an alternative allele. This is the allele which can mask the appearance of another allele. So actually, um, it dominates. That's why it's known as dominant. It dominates. Hii ni allele ambayo inawezo kuitawala na allele nyingine isionekane. Unaona? Na ndomana, always it's normally denoted by capital letter. That means capital letter hata kwa kiswa hitu na hita erufi kubwa. Manake mkubwa ndo anayi dominate kabla ya mdogo. Unaona? <coughs> so the dominant alleles always they dominate and they mask the appearance of another allele which is together with this allele. So it's an allele which influences the appearance of the phenotype even in the presence of an alternative allele. That means an alternative allele in this case will be recessive allele. When you are talking of dominance, dominance now with the condition dominant is a gene or an allele. While dominance is the condition. Dominance is the ability of an allelic form. Eh? Dominance is an ability is the ability of an allelic form of a gene to determine the phenotype of a heterozygous individual in which the homozygous chromosome, in which the homologous chromosomes carry both it and the different allele. Kwa kuna bazi ya kesi ambazo, unakuta kuna alele mbili, kuna dominant na recessive. And they all occur together in the same homologous, I mean in the, in the two homologous chromosome. We discussed later about the homologous chromosome and we shall see what are the homologous chromosome. No, no. Kwa hiyo unakuta, kuna gene mbili ambazo zote zimeka kwenye homologous chromosome moja. Sasa, uh, katika hizi gene mbili ambazo zimeka kwenye homologous chromosome moja, unaona? Tuna, tunataka ku, 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 kujua kwamba dominance manake dominance manake kutakuwa kuna jini mmoja ambaye atamzuia mwenzake asionekane yeye ndo atakaye determine phenotype atakaye determine muonekano wa nje kwa sababu muonekano wa nje ndio ambao kuna kwa kuna mmoja anatawala mwingine atawali unaona kwa hiyo jini atakaye fanya atakaye fanya muonekano wa nje utokee hata kama wako na mwenzake anaitwa dominant gene <coughs> From there, we have another terminology which is recessive. Recessive is the allele which influences the appearance of the phenotype only in the presence of another identical allele. Hii ni allele ambayo inatokea kwenye phenotype endapo tu kuna uwepo wa allele nyingine nyo fanana hii. Lakini kukio kuna allele nyingine nyo tofautiana hii. Hii allele ya recessive waiwezi kufanya kazi. Kwa mfano, Iwa tunaidinote kwa small letter, unaona? Kwa hiyo, tukiwa tuna alele mbili, recessive na dominant, atakewane kana nani ni dominant, ambaye kwenye erufi kubwa. Mfano ni kwenye diagram, unazo kwa mwono ubi, ubi ni dominant, ubi ni recessive, ubi dominant, ubi recessive. Now, let's take an example, tume cross huyu na huyu, tumepata hawa wili, capital B, capital B. Inayone kana pa nini? Ni just capital B, capital B, unaona? 
capital B capital B ndio ambayo inafanya inaonekana yani purple purple flowers unaona now let's take an example we have capital B here but here the small b if we close this we get capital B small b what happens is that the flower still appear purple why it's purple it's because this b is dominant unaona huyu hapa ni homozygous dominant huyu hapa ni heterozygous lakini ni heterozygous ambayo genes zinatofautiana but still the letter b which is capital is dominant unaona na kitu chotokea hapa ndo nakiita dominance kwa maana kwamba huyu b amefanya yeye ndo aonekane wakati b mdogo hajaonekana that is dominance again here we have small b and here we have capital b unaweza kusema kwa nini tujaanza na letter huko ah tunaanza na ile ambaye kwa mfano huyu b ni mkubwa huyu b ni mdogo so tunaanza na ile b mkubwa so capital b small b b is dominant will dominate and the flower will appear purple but in this case both two genes they are recessive so small b small b will get white flowers mm -hmm. white flowers so this is the diagram showing the cross between two plants eh, and the observed phenotype in offspring eh, the two plants this is regarded the male plant and this is regarded the uh, female plant you see a male plant and a female plant na kama unaweza kuona kwamba eh, tulikuwa tuna flower with the purple na yule pale ni purple ila both they were heterozygous this was heterozygous and this was heterozygous so the cross between this we get one homozygous dominant and then two uh, uh, two which are heterozygous uh, dominant and then one which is homozygous recessive that is how the cross is going we shall discuss later about these uh, genetic crosses in detail uh, from there terminology number 13 is generation unaona generation in generation in group of organism of approximately the same age within a population population ni kundi kubwa la viumbe eh? eh, multiple number of living organism but generation is the group of organism with approximately the same age within a population tunasika tuna kundi fulani la viumbe ambao umri wao au miaka yao inafanana fanana katika nini katika population ndo naita generation unaona na katika generation ziko generation za aina mbili ambazo kwenye genetics tutakuwa na nazo sana kusoma tutakuwa tuna the first filial generation which we normally call as f1 f1 ni ile generation ambayo inatokana na close parent unaona if the generation is produced by closing closing parents stocks yani parents may be homolo, uh, i mean may be homozygous or may be heterozygous lakini ile generation inayotokea kutoka kwenye close parent ndio inaitwa f1 generation first filial generation first filial generation lakini pia kuna second filial generation second filial generation inatokana na tulipata watoto kwenye first filial wale watoto wa first filial generation tuna close tunakuja kupata watoto wa second filial generation so that's the way tunakuwa tuna first filial pamoja na second filial generation which we call as f2 generation so tunakuwa tuna f1 generation pamoja na f2 generation F1 that means first filial F2 that means second filial unaona and for this time to share hapa kipindi chetu kishia hapa in the next session tutaanza ku discuss chromosomes mpaka terminology nyingine zote kuishia mpaka mwishoni mwa hizi terminology as a genetics hopefully you have enjoyed the session and uh, actually don't uh, don't forget to comment yani uspite tu just comment Say something if you have learned anything if you have any suggestion regarding my teaching style if you have any suggestion regarding the tutorial lectures if you have any suggestion regarding anything just tell me comment below and then i will take your comment and then i can know how can i do so let's see meet in the coming session thank you